Today we'll Wait, what? <sighs> Today we'll be doing training. We'll be testing our skills and power. Try this for an example. I did it! And it's blue! <laughs> Okay, we've rested long enough. Now it's time to start training again. Kai, you go first. Next up is Zack. And next is Charlotte. It's strange how even though you're all related, you three somehow have completely different abilities. Kai has something to do with gen genetics. Gen genetics. Hey, Dad. Why do we do all this work? Cause sometimes it feels kind of pointless. You know, that's a good question, and yes, there is a reason to this. This wretched world we live in is home to many citizens of pure evil and insanity. Demons and devils alike are the living embodiment of negativity, which is why we are commonly feared by many. An average demon could go on his day casually after killing thousands of innocent people for his own entertainment. You three have ancient godlike powers that you cannot allow anyone to get their greedy hands on. Which is why we must learn to defend ourselves to survive all the possible ways we could perish. Okay, I get it now. Wait a minute, you're over exaggerating, aren't you? Okay, well, maybe, but keep what I told you in mind. I don't know why, but something feels off. You're safe. No, I've only come here for one reason. Now, I don't know who you think you are, but you better get out. Yes, excuse me for not introducing myself. My name is Zeno. I was hired to kill the three kids known as Kai, Zack, and Charlotte. Their death wish is due to their unusual tremendous power that is almost godlike. It is theorized that they can become a potential threat to our world. And destroy us all. These children may seem innocent now, but when they grow up, they won't be the same kids you remember from long ago. Oh, and one more thing. Are you sure these are your kids? Huh? What I'm trying to say is that your kids don't look like you in any way, because, like, you're blue. And, uh, they're gray. Oh. Yeah, well, you see, they're adopted. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense now. Well, I can understand your confusion. <laughs> Now, I'm not here to play around, you got that? Dad, are you okay? <coughs> oh no, my dad is hurt. It's his fault. That Zeno guy. He's kinda scary. Now listen here. I was given information about you, and was told that you weren't very strong. But I decided to get you out of the way so you weren't an annoyance. Now, where was I? <coughs> Kai, Zack, Charlotte, you need to run. Immediately. Forget everything I taught you about self-defense. You're too young. Now listen, there's a portal that is still open on top of the roof. It leads back to our home world. Now run!
20th clock you broke this month. Are you trying to waste our money? I'm going back to bed. And don't wake me up. It's 731, what do you mean? Don't care. <laughs> Now that was f***ing terrifying. You know, I was hoping I could go for the sewers to avoid all the traffic. But on second thought, no. That took way too long. <laughs> Pancake. What are you looking at? What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Just, uh, hanging around. Probably order a pancake. Listen, I was planning to meet my friends here today, but I guess they're not here. The only friend you have is Big Joe, and we both know why he doesn't come here anymore. Hey Fatso, did you eat a hamburger for breakfast or what? I'm gonna commit arson. Oh yeah. Well, it's not my fault that everyone's a dick. Hey kid, watch your language. And who are you? Uh, I work here. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. Mm. Uh, you know Sonic the Hedgehog? Shut up. Also, just wondering, what's the yellow diamond on your cloak? Is it like jewelry or what? Well, you might think it's fair just for looks, but my dad said that there's some sort of cursed power sealed inside this. I don't know why they would seal it and give it to me and my siblings. I mean, it's cool and all, but why not just get rid of it? Okay, that's interesting and all, but magic is something we all use, so I'm not really impressed. Yeah, but I'm talking like god-like power, like from the heavens or something. But like a, a bit more sinister, you know what I mean? Huh, interesting. You know, you seem like the kind of person that has a lot of goals in life. Well, of course I do. Thanks for asking. Two things. First, I become the strongest. I will perfectly master my strength and my magic, and will become unstoppable. In your dream, bitch. This is why I hate you, Zack, because you're a f***ing jerk. Yeah, yeah, yap all you want. Just keep going. <sighs> and then I'll become the Hell Overlord. Or in other words, the Demon King. <laughs> <laughs> you- Oh my god, bro. Like, Hell Overlord? You've gotta be kidding me. It's been decades since we last had a king, and you think you could just suddenly become one? Oh yeah? Well, what do you wanna be? What do you wanna be, Zack? Huh? An assassin. I want to be an assassin. I Don't make fun of me. You made fun of me first. Only I can do that. That's stupid. You're stupid. Shut up. You shut up. As I was saying, your so-called godlike powers don't make you worthy, because you gotta prove way more than just power alone. And you know I'm right. Since we currently don't have a king, it most likely means that nobody else was successful in becoming king. But most of this information comes from my history books. Good for you, nerd. You know, you are really immature. <sighs> Anyways, ever since our king unknowingly died, it's caused our people to be more free. Which is, uh, of course a good thing. So when someone would try to take the throne, we would fear our freedom would be taken from us. So what I'm trying to say is that nobody wants a new cane, and that you're not worthy. Oh yeah? 
Fake that'll stop me from at least trying. Sorry, kid, but he's kind of right about the whole freedom thing. But who knows? Maybe it'll prove us wrong one day. Oh, I will. Just. You. Wait. That cheeseburger aisle. Sir, can you please leave? We don't have a cheeseburger aisle. You've been in here for five hours. If you don't tell me right now, you are big bum bum. <laughs> you big bully! I said leave, you fatty. Ow. Who left the sewer lid open? I probably shouldn't even be here since all the weirdos like to hide in this place. Why is there a door? <sighs> What's he doing here? This isn't good. Not good at all. Hello, Sino. It truly has been a while, hasn't it? Yes, it really has been a while since we last talked, but... I have to ask, but what could you possibly want from me after nine years? Remember that mission I gave you back then? What, you want me to try to kill them again? Well, you see, my true motives are a bit different. We both know that our gem thingies hold the power with them to the gods. So this time, I want you to take it from them. If they give you a bit of trouble and refuse, then kill them. Oh. I don't know about killing them. Oh, what's wrong? After all these years, you've started to grow soft? Because I can tell you haven't been working out as much as you used to. No, but it's because of what I learned about them. Let me explain. When you gave me that mission, you described them in a way that made it seem like the kids were evil and would destroy us all. But really, it's not the children that we need to get rid of. It's the gems. And the whole point of destroying them is to prevent them from possibly ending us all. However, I find it quite strange that you would rather keep the power than destroying it. Isn't that right? You're onto something. And I don't like that. I'm sorry, but it's not happening. Well, I have quite a lot of money on my hands. How much? Maybe around like a thousand. Show me the money. See, imagine if you had all the cash. Imagine if you had all this to yourself. So, what do you say? It's a deal.